Sorry, my hair is looking very messy, but hello. My name is Elizabeth. I'm a fourth year mechanical engineering student at UCI. Um, this is a very busy week, um, so I thought it'd be fun to do another week in the life vlog. Um, currently, it's Monday of Memorial Day weekend, so campus is a little empty, but our lab is very hopping um, because our event is next sun Saturday um, for my senior design project, the demonstration day, so that's why I'm in full PPE um, here in Engineering Tower. Um, but yes, it's a very chaotic week. Um, finals are in two weeks, but right now the Senior Design Project is kind of the main focus. Um, so you'll get to see everything that's happening in the lab and hopefully a moving pod. Um, but yeah, so stay tuned for some chaotic engineering things. Um, lots of caffeination. <laughs> So I forgot to mention in the intro, my senior design project is UCI's Hyperloop team. <laughs> it's basically a new proposed method of transportation, a maglev train within a near vacuum tube proposed back in 2013. And this is our Hyperloop pod prototype here. Uh, so we are preparing this, like I said, for demonstration day, bunch of, you know, UCI family members, faculty, students, um, we're going to do some sub-team presentations and then a pod run, so that is why it's so chaotic in the lab because um, there's a lot of pressure, but here we are. Um, I decided at this point to take a nap within lab. I think this was like six hours of being in lab, so yep, made a bed out of the chairs. <laughs> Okay, hey, breaks are open. 115, 120. Oh, what was that? Did you? Oh. Okay, so every vlog. We are now removing skateboard wax from our lovely track because some skateboarders have decided to skate on it. Okay, the pod is in the car. We missed all the vlog footage from making the pod work, but yeah. Okay, pog. Big pog. So I forgot to say earlier, but my role on the team is project manager and pneumatic sub-team lead. As the project manager, it's a lot of finances, project timeline, logistics, HR things. Um, so not normally very hands-on, but with everything going on, I just tried to be in the lab as much as I could, help out in any way I could. You know, with all the testing, it was pretty much all hands on deck. <laughs> Going eight miles per hour, going. Oh, <laughs> it moved! It moved! It moved! We did it, guys. So, it moved! So, prior to this week, we found an open? issue with our new linear induction motor. So, we basically had to uh, combine a bunch of previous propulsion subsystems from previous pods together to make uh, a makeshift <gasps> rotary motor system for this pod. Um, so we realized during this testing period that there wasn't enough torque for a motor to stick the pod moving on its Brakes own, which is why we are pushing it to start the pod. So super abrupt ending there, but don't worry. Um, the pod just went a little bit faster than we thought it would. Um, we were able to hit the e-stop and break the pod. It just wasn't caught on film. It is 10 p.m. and we are headed back to lab. Pod is in transit. Jagger coming in in the rear. Pod slowly in transit. Pod is tilting. Okay, cut. I'll switch with you, socket. Wait, actually. I'm trying to get the socket crouch. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the Jagger PID control. He's matching Anthony's speed. <laughs> All right. Good morning. It is Tuesday. Um, so I did film stuff yesterday. Um, I have been living in Engineering Tower for the past three days, um, working on my senior design project, as I probably mentioned. Um, the days are starting to blur together, like, um, haven't had a lot of sleep, so, um, I'm running actually this morning to Anaheim to go fill up our nitrogen air tanks, um, for the pneumatic system. Um, so that's all the to-do today, and then, um, pneumatic sub-team meeting, 
um, afterwards and then I'm sure more hyperexcite chaos, maybe a little bit of homework if, if time allows. And then um, SWE, the Society of Women Engineers has a bracelet, bracelet making event tonight. So um, hopefully gonna make it to that. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go pick up um, some friends on hyperexcite and then we are off to Anaheim. Wait. There's some confusion on what we're filling the air tanks with. Be here. Oh, what a vlog fame is your favorite boy, Alan Singh. <laughs> so after the air tanks, we decided to go to Costco nearby for lunch, and Alan decided to get paper towels that then stayed in my car for a week. PPE but it's fine. <laughs> um, and then we picked up our personal protective equipment, PPE, and then it was time for friendship bracelets with Sui. Yeah, I'm getting some trauma. This is so shaky. We are on our way home after making bracelets with the Society of Women Engineers, aka Sui. And then um the electrical sub teams for hybrid site have their presentation practice so i'm going to get in back in like five minutes in five minutes so we're not home yet so we are on our way home all right so i think the last time i vlogged was quite a few hours ago because it's 11 p.m so i came home um the electrical sub teams had their presentation practice so um gave them some feedback there sent a few emails more hyper excite stuff Hyper excited stuff never ends. Um, and then went to Albertsons real quick. Um, but yeah, I realized like um, it's just all been hyper excited stuff. So I, I do promise, like, I am a student, I take classes. Um, the thing is, is just I don't have class um, Thursday and Friday, and it was a three day weekend. Oh, and I don't have classes Tuesday either. So it was basically a five day weekend. Um, if you don't count hyper excite. So I I do have class tomorrow. So tomorrow is welding, um, my robotics class and stats. Um, so you'll get to see all of that jazz tomorrow. Um, but yeah, so I think I'm gonna end the vlog for today here. But I will see you tomorrow. All right, good morning. It is Wednesday. Um, we are currently on the way to campus to go to welding. Um, we will try to get footage, but we'll see. Uh, see what I'll try. But yes, stay, stay tuned for the chaos. <laughs> Alright, I'm in the elevator to go to Rada's class and I just found out it's cancelled. So I am currently headed back to lab. Eugene's showing us the lack of sleep he's gotten. And they've been swiped into brand new ones. So not caught on camera is the disgusting concoction Alan decided to make out of sparkling water and coffee. Um, but after Brandywine, we headed back to the lab for a bit before heading to stats. Well, we were on our way to stats. She tried to push a pole door. We're not putting that in the vlog. Three times. She's like, maybe I'm not pushing hard enough. And she body slammed the door that wouldn't open because it was a pole door. Anywho, Stats is online today, so we're not gonna go. So back to lab for us. We're that not is. Going. You're not even gonna log in? No. Oh. Okay, bye! So I did log in to Zoom and watch Stats. Um, was able to listen to the lecture despite all the chaos oh, wait, happening around me, like the mini pod no, being worked on, which is what they're holding there. Um, and then they began testing the motors more, um, trying to get the pod to move on its own. <laughs> Um, from the beginning so basically not need a push start <laughs> this testing went on for a while Are we, we were to be really wood? trying to get these motors up and running to get the pod on the track this day but it was yeah. just <laughs> not working so we eventually decided to take a insomnia cookie break um after several hours of this it is currently 10 35 yeah. and we are running me the oh, yeah, you're vlogging. I'm out of breath. Okay, it's okay. I was walking too. We're running to Saka's car to get Insomnia's cookies. Okay, this lighting is terrible. Um, I've only been in the lab, so I don't know how many videos I got. But we're taking a dessert break. And then we're going to do stats homework. 
or Alan and I will do stats homework while Sokka solders things. Yay! We're still not at the car. Jokes on you. I wait. No, I was just gonna be the voiceover. Okay. Jokes on you. Uh, we weren't gonna sleep anyway. <laughs> All right, we're back in lab. Ice cream and cookie have been acquired, but I dropped the cookie on the floor. <laughs> it is one a.m. What's up, vlog fam? I want to die. <laughs> we gotta be back at 10 a.m. tomorrow. <laughs> I gotta be early. <laughs> oh. Alright, good morning. It is 10 a.m. on Thursday. T minus two, two, two days until our break state demonstration day. I am on the way to go pick up the air tanks. I have my <laughs> grad picture stuff in the back, plus uh, stuff for my roommate's birthday party later today. So another crazy nonstop day. So here our propulsion team is working on our mini pod, which has our mini linear induction motor as its propulsion system. It's so cute. Um, and then motor tuning commenced again, um, a little bit more successful than the day before. So we were finally able to get the pod moving on its own, which was really exciting. Um, a, little, a, little, a little slow, but you know, you got to start somewhere. <laughs> Adrian's happy. Hello, Jack. Looking sharp. <laughs> I like it. Nice. <laughs> so at 2 p.m., we had to pause testing and all pile into the ET bathrooms and get ready for our Hyperexcite senior graduation pictures. Some of our outfits are in the back there. Um, here's the propulsion team doing the Oompa Loompa dance in the middle of Aldrich. Um, but after the Hyperexcite graduation pictures wrapped up, I quickly got ready. Costume change number three in the ET bathroom for Sonia's birthday party. <laughs> Oh. oh, she's crispy. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Dear Sonia, happy birthday. Alright, so some missing footage here because it was so, you guessed it, chaotic. Um, but basically, I had the all together team hyperexcite presentation practice for demo day on Zoom, and I had to take it in the car um, from dinner to, you guessed it, lab. Um, but the presentation practice went well, and as you can see from the next clip, um, we were quite delirious in lab. Um, I don't even really remember what we were working on. I do remember it being productive, um, but yeah. <laughs> This is going to real. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should just It's moving! <laughs> Why is it moving? <laughs> 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 it is 12.30. I'm carrying our costume tones. We are extending our truck. Now that the pod moves, um, the ISEB key for the building has been picked up, and our new electronic speed controller, aka EFC, is here. Also, it is Friday, so demonstration day is tomorrow, so it's even more chaotic. First coffee has been downed. We are having a connector issue. So again, some missing footage from this day, but we went on an absolute manhunt for XT90 connectors that we needed. Ended up Venmoing another senior design project to use theirs, um, and then went back to lab for a few hours, and then got ready for the order of engineering ceremony you see here um, for seniors, and then went back to lab. Alright, just finished order of the engineer ceremony, got the ring, yeah, 
<laughs> see what we forgot is at home. <laughs> um, and now we're headed back to the lab. Again, to work on our brain site. Surprise, surprise. Look at this in the pod. Yes. Coffee number three. Thank you, Eric. We are track bound. Oh my god, that's like... Oh wait, do that again? Can you? <laughs> All right, so we're on the, the track. the track. We are now checking the sound system and the room. Socket is frantically running. I don't know where he's going. Socket? Where are you going, bud? Hey, is this a video? Yeah. Hey kids, today we're gonna learn about post-its. See, this is what happens when I, I speak directly into the mic. Spaghetti sauce. See, that's the problem. I want to be able to say puh without having everyone hear the <laughs> that comes with it. So what you do is you put your mouth away from the mic. So that gust of air that comes every time you say puh doesn't go into the mic. So puh, puh, puh. Much better when you got the socket brain, okay? <laughs> okay, we should probably get outside because they're waiting for us. Also, time check, it is currently 11.20 and the pod is still not on the track. But, anywho. We have seven hours. Oh, thank you so much, Siri. So, our main issue at this point was a massive pneumatic leak coming from our base station manifold that basically acts as a gate um, and distributes the pressurized air to our actuators on our brakes. And I didn't get it before, but we pretty much spent all of Friday troubleshooting this uh, base station leak while the motors were being tuned. Um, we tried switching out the gaskets and the solenoid valves, tried replacing the solenoid valves themselves. Um, but what finally solved it was jumping it with the multimeter, oddly enough. Oh. 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 Wait, so it's not leaking. Oh, there's a spider. How are you doing, Eric? This is for the vlog. It's like, okay, yeah. Like this Pneumatic sleek has been mysteriously disappeared. Yeah, like, pick up the pod and like, try to move it over to the right a little bit. Let's yeah. hope it doesn't come back anytime oh, soon. Yeah. We think there's a lab ghost. Is it um, it's currently 1241. I feel like we need to be like... A little bit this way. Oh, like you should get the question. We're not sticking, are we? Nope. We, the event starts in... Six hours. Well, six hours? They are not on. Setup starts at six hours. Yeah, it's up. Yeah. What's happening? It's up. We found a new issue while we were pushing the pod. Uh, the shaft on the... Go around the right. It's like too low, so it's hitting the I-beam. Oh, that might be my fault. Oh, yeah. That's why I suggested the dry run. Yeah, to put a clamp collar yep. on there. Yeah, oh my... Yeah, we... Oh, now that we made the ride height more <sighs> reasonable, <laughs> it's... Yeah, I I think it's I undergoing it's surgery. That doesn't matter. Because uh, if we're trying to move it up, right? Huh? Uh, surgery number two? Oh yeah. Taste on with the Ashley shot. Got an audience. The underbelly of the beast. <laughs> So after we fixed the shaft hitting the bottom of the I-beam, we just ran the pod along the I-beam track to make sure we wouldn't have any issues with any misalignments in the track, just make sure everything was all fine and dandy, um, and then started preparing the pod for a pod run. And that lovely screeching noise there is the sound of our motor stalling. <laughs> okay, vlog update. Currently to it in the motors and it's 3 a.m. T minus four hours till setup and seven hours till the event. Oh hi vlog. It is 4 a.m. We are still pod running at the track. Um we are currently going to pause right now and I'm, I'm re-caution taping the track. Oh, here comes Socket. Um, and we're gonna go to McDonald's and get breakfast. Um, so yeah. Oh, okay, it's 4.30. The brakes have been dismantled, which is what I'm holding. And we are preparing for McDonald's run. It's 5 a.m. <laughs> I haven't slept in years. <laughs> Why is your AC on, but why is your heater on at the same time? <laughs> I think AC means just... 
Saka's car is built doesn't, different. It doesn't do anything, guys. Saka, what time is it? It's by 12 a.m. Yep, and we are in the line for McDonald's and the sun is coming. Hey guys, well, guess when the driver's the last time I can't get out on I'm giving up. So after an hour, hour and a half wait in the McDonald's drive through line, we got our food, frantically dropped everybody off at their apartments to shower, change, get ready really quick, and then met the rest of the team in lab at 7 a.m. I thought I packed everything really nicely, put everything in piles to avoid any stress, but oh my lord, it was so stressful, so chaotic, so I don't have any footage of you know, gathering the 30 member team all together and getting all the stuff that we needed from lab to the track. But anywho, so at 8 a.m. we just finished up a few tests here um, and then did a run through with the pod, just the motors running, making sure the retuned motors were good to go. Um, and then brought everybody inside, did a quick run through of the presentation, just to make sure everyone was used to the room setup and the audio system. Then went back outside, everybody signed the braking system, um, which is really cute. And then we quickly put the braking system back on. Um, and then this was our first run breaking at top speed with the retuned motors. So the event started around 10.15. I didn't get any videos, um, but there was such a great turnout, around 70 to 80 people. Um, event started with our technical presentations from all of our sub teams. And then after the presentations wrapped up, our propulsion team had their mini linear induction motor um, demonstration outside in the lobby. And then while they were doing that, our team was outside preparing the pod uh, for a track run, um, just doing some last minute safety checks, um, especially considering we ran into a lot of technical difficulties right before the presentation started. Um, but everything luckily was good to go. Um, and we just did a few runs by ourselves to make sure, you know, double check everything was good. And then everybody came outside uh, to join us. Dogger, can you hear me? Should I do this All right. All right. So we are going to do first a low speed track run and then a high speed track run. So the pod is already on the track, meaning the brakes have already been pressurized and then disengaged, but they are now closed. So I'm going to narrate the safety procedure um, and then we'll start with pod run. Woo. All right, let us begin. All right, low voltage on. All right. Go ahead and pressurize upstream. Alright, upstream is pressurized. Go ahead and pressurize downstream. A socket, your presence is being requested by Kiva. <laughs> So the low speed run was very successful, so we pulled the pod all the way back to the beginning of the track because the pod only goes one way, um, and started our preparations for our first high speed run. Yep, okay, go ahead, pressurize upstream. Okay, pressurize downstream. Alright, yep. Alrighty. 
Entering loading state. Brakes are disengaged. Alright. Clear track. Clear track. Running 20 for 70. Go. So in this run, we actually had to use our e-stop on the GUI um, because the pod did not um, recognize correctly where it was along the track. Um, so we fixed that issue, um, reset the wheel encoder, and did another high-speed run. And then just for funsies, here's another uh, take of that last high speed run that somebody got on a skateboard. Demonstration day is now over. Come on. See, okay, look at look at that one. And then this is like the beagle. It's over! I can sleep! We can sleep. Hi vlog. It is over. Demonstration day was a huge success. We we had some bumps in the road. Um that happened right before the presentation part of the event. Oh, sorry, it's bumping. Um, and then we, I was stalling, insert clip of me stalling here. Our team is still running some safety checks right now, so we're probably going to give them about another five, six minutes or so before they start filing in to present. Um, but while they do that, does anybody have any questions about UCI, engineering? For a while but the good news is is that by the time the presentations were done the issues were fixed and it went beautifully and our advisor was very very proud and happy and we got a bunch of pictures so now it is time to sleep eat and then i have senior pictures at four all right lunch at flower child Summer day. What? Hot. Oh. You have a little haircut, okay? <laughs> Why are you judging? Alright, we went home to shower. Second time today. Now I have grad picks. I want to sleep so badly. Tabs open. More pictures. Yeah. Anything for the vlog? Yeah, this is for the vlog. Oh. What up, vlog? It's me, your favorite character on the Liz 2 vlog. Hi, vlog. I'm very tired. <laughs> so also very Just tired. finished sweet pictures. It's very shiny right this now. Horrible, I know, because it's so bright. Okay. So, in my sleep deprived state, I forgot to re record that video, but Brianna and I picked up Trader Joe's after the pictures. Um, for dinner, and then we had a few people over to celebrate the end of demonstration day and the end of the school year. Um, and then we played this game, and I very quickly fell asleep during the game, so that pretty much wrapped things up for Saturday for me. Hi vlog, it's Sunday, one day after demo day, and we are headed to Disneyland. I can't spend this by myself. <laughs> 
go, B, go. go. Oh. Alright, first caffeination of the day. Per Quran's recommendation. <laughs> all right oh my hands in this shot okay hello vlog it is monday again so i think this is going to be the last day on the vlog um went to disneyland yesterday with my parents and my sister i think i pretty much got like four clips from yesterday um so i thought i would also vlog today plus i also actually have classes today so might be good to include um but yeah so currently have got oh wait Got our potluck stuff for the last hyper excite meeting today. Dresses in the back for the uh, sweet end of your banquet. And class is in 18 minutes. Oh, and also the first class of today is the robotics class. And then I have hyper excite general meeting. And then right after that is stats. stats. And then, class. yeah, Subin's so lucky he doesn't have any class. But yes. So I get the P matrix that I have, right? You take the square root of P, <laughs> Hello, okay, it is 7 p.m. We're back in the car on the way to the sweet end of year banquet um, where they're going to be giving a raffle and one of the prizes is a capybara stuffed animal. I already have. You already have. Yeah, I already have it, but one can never have too many capybara stuffed animals, so... But yeah, it'll be fun. It'll be the very last SWE meeting I ever go to, so that'll be really weird. But yes. For two years, he's graduating with a BS in both computer science and mechanical engineering. It's crazy, wow. <laughs> 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 left our very last we meeting not so last we will come back we will, I will be make back. come back yes should this be the outro this is this is where the vlog ends oh yeah this is gonna be the outro okay hey guys what's up welcome uh, no wait that's the intro that, okay hey guys up what's time to leave <laughs> bye <laughs> see you and see you next next vlog miss vlog time <laughs> Bye. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs>